a 62 year old male presented with complaints of left knee joint pain for the two months pain is more on activity so it is likely suggestive of degenerative degenerative arthritis okay complaints of pain in small joints of fingers is also there and is associated with stiffness in the morning but it is relieved within 20 minutes okay so it is a stiffness less than 1 hour so again contributory to degenerative arthritis joint pain is more at the evening time so no morning stiffness like no bad and increases with activity relieves with rest all signifying degenerative arthritis so he's been taking otc medications for pain relief he's a diabetic and an on anti diabetic metformin occasional alcohol and smoker examination he is be obese that is one more clue here obese and one more significant clue he is trying to give us here patient has a crepitus with extension and flexion so crepitus it is classically seen in osteoarthritis so osteoarthritis is characterized by what fissuring of the cartilage fissuring of cartilage the chondral surface due to mechanical stress and then erosion of the underlying bone erosion of underlying bone leading to damage examination of the hand reveals swellings of the joints there are swellings of the joints here so what are these characteristically the proximal interphalangeal and the distal interphalangeal buccal and herbidin nodes herbidin nodes remember one thing distal interphalangeal joints never involved never involved in rheumatoid arthritis so that helps us in differentiating here so here here clearly we are dealing with a case of osteoarthritis and he's asking the changes observed in the hand are due to which of the following so it is characterized by formation of what osteophytes decreased joint space is there decreased joint space effusion will be minimal and like i told fissuring will be present so bony outgrowths yes chondrocalcinosis no chondrocalcinosis is seen in calcium pyrophosphate crystal deposition also known as pseudo gout so these crystals go in deposit in the um, chondral the cartilage around the bone articular cartilage and resulting in uh, calcification and that's how inflammation is generated pseudo gout pannus formation no pannus formation is a characteristic of rheumatoid arthritis ankylosis of joints is seen in you know right inflammatory arthritis last stage of inflammatory arthritis any inflammation but mostly ankylosing spondylitis ankylosing spondylitis so the right answer is bony outgrowths which are nothing but osteophytes which are nothing but the osteophytes thank you